Howdy, JBSA. This is Brigadier General Driggers, the uh, commander of JBSA and the 502nd Air Base Wing. Once again here with you for an episode of uh, Ask Away JBSA. And I'm Jason Wilkinson from the 502nd Public Affairs. Sir, our first question today is uh, from a single member of our community, and uh, he's looking for things to do. He was asking about the BOSS program and if there was a BOSS program for, for airmen so that he could get out and, and find things to do and meet people and stuff like that. That's a super question. And, and uh, you know, the Army has had long had the Better Opportunity for Single, single Soldiers program, which, uh, you know, I'm an Army brat, so I've, I know a lot about, I've heard a lot about that program growing up. Um, and uh, so what we've, we've taken that program and uh, we've t tried to grow it and it's now better opportunities for single service members. And so the program is alive and well here at JBSA and if you go to the Facebook page and search in JBSA Boss, uh, you'll be able to find uh, some access to the resources, cooking classes and uh, trips and all kinds of uh, great things for our single service members. Uh, and if you go to JBSA today and go to the website, you'll be able to find out other opportunities for, uh, for MWR activities and all kinds, of, uh, all kinds of things we provide our service members. Awesome. Thank you so much, sir. So our next question is uh, about EV vehicles and, and charging stations and kind of what kind of plans we have, uh, if any, for... for um, charging stations here on JBSA. Sure. So uh, so right now we are, the JBSA is the a pilot site for uh, EV vehicles on the government side, on the government fleet. Unfortunately, uh, though we'll have charging stations, they're not going to be available to the public because it's for the government use. Um, some of the housing areas across our installation are considering putting in some charging stations uh, there in various housing areas. Um, and uh, AFES has been taking a look at the option of doing that. Obviously, that's a financial decision that AFES has to make, and it's an economic decision. And, you know, in some areas of the country, there's going to be a higher proportion of EV vehicles, and it may make more financial sense for them. In Texas, that might not be necessarily the case, and so they'll continue to evaluate and see when the time is right. Uh, that makes sense. Thank you so much, sir. And then our final question today is, uh, is about retention. I know retention has been a big buzzword throughout the, the military community. And so just kind of what JBSA is doing to help lend to that sure. issue. Yeah, it's a, it's a, huge, uh, it's a huge challenge uh, to work through, to think through how best do we encourage our service members to stay. Uh, my wife and I have long said that while we may recruit uh, our service members, we retain families. And so a focus on the family and making sure the family is taken care of is very important to us. Um, she has uh, partnered as part of uh, the Air Force's Five and Thrive program. And so we have a Five and Thrive JBSA program that's alive and well here. It's focused on advocacy on the five main things that our families have to consider whenever they move to a new location. And it's, you know, it's not just families, even single service members have to consider many of these things, if not, if not all. And that is where are they going to live? Uh, where are they going to get health care? And where, if they have children, where are their children going to get child care if it's, they're not school age? And where they, or where are they going to go get schools? And for the married folks, uh, where is the spouse going to find employment? And so uh, the Five and Thrive program is designed to help uh, the community uh, get access to those resources and, and find out where they're at. And so if you take a look at the link below, uh, you'll find that there's a link to some of the Five and Thrive resources. We also have a very robust partnership that we have with the local community. And so getting in touch with our force support squadron and asking some of these questions about uh, how we can get access to these resources is a great way to let the community know that we do care and we want to be able to take care of them. And, you know, you're not going to get that outside of the military context. And so that's, we really think that that's a great step in helping folks remember that, you know, helping folks know that we care for them and that uh, we value everybody's service to the nation, whether they're wearing our nation's cloth, whether they're civilians, whether they're contractors, or whether they're family members. Awesome. Thank you so much, sir. I really Thank appreciate you. you taking time to talk with us today. Absolutely. Thank you much. Take care, JBSA. JBSA, it's time for your questions. Ask away.